this is Arcania Gothic 4, um, and it's called that because it's the fourth game in the, in the, uh, the Gothic series. What we were aiming for in this game is to make sure that the, the that Arcania was more accessible than the previous Gothic games, which were pretty hardcore um, and, and popular in Europe, but not so popular in North America. Um, so the, some of the ways that we've done that are we've added a mini-map and quest markers, which granted we didn't invent, but we realized that those are some of the things that a modern RPG needs to have. Um, and so, some of the other things we've done is we've made sure that we've added a very... Uh, a very intuitive combat system. We're using a three-button combat system. Um, so one for for melee, uh, one for ranged, and one for magic. However, as you go through it, we've got a pretty robust skill set. And if you take a look, each of the different uh, each of the different shields on our skill tree re represent a different skill. So although I've only got one button for melee, as I go along, I'm going to get more and more more and more abilities. With it, a good example is if I press X once, I get sort of a regular, uh, a regular swing. But if I level it up, I'll eventually get a glow on my on my weapon, my sword, or my axe, or whatever. Um, and I'll be able to go ahead and uh, pull off a combo if I click click the button or I press the button at the right time. So one of the things that we try to do is make sure that Gothic is a very uh, immersive world. So this is the island of Fesher, and here we are at the local blacksmith. You can see the blacksmith's actually working away there. Um, at the same time, you can see that we've actually populated the world realistically. So we've got a, um, a cart here with a busted wheel, and you can actually see there's the busted wheel over there. Again, the idea is that we want to make sure that the world is as immersive as possible. So one of the things we've done, another thing we've done is th this game is actually a free-roaming open world, which means anywhere you can see, you can go. Um, of course, you've got to make sure that you've opened it up via quest first. Um, speaking of quests, what is it you're doing here we are. behind my back? So. Oh. What we've got here is the oh, first set of quests on the I tutorial just want to island. Learn something. I'm going to go ahead and skip the dialogue. Um, and the, the quest Switch path that we start off with is two. I desperately right. want to marry my girlfriend and I felt that I need to talk to her father first. I'm going to walk over here and she's going to yell at me a little bit because I forgot what to mention that to her. Want? Test me. There you go. So her father has told me, okay, well, you have to go off and you have to, uh, you've got to do three quests because it's a family tradition. Who One of the things that separates oh, Gothic from other RPGs um, no. is that it's all, the lead hero is always a smarmy guy. He's a little bit uh, sarcastic. Um, so when the father says, hey, you've got to go off and you've got to do... Sorry, um, and I you've can't got to, you cross the bread. You've got to go off and you've got to do three uh, qu uh, tests so that I let you marry my daughter. You say, of course, three tests. It's a family tradition. Because just like you don't believe it, neither does the character. Okay. Um, so what we've tried to do is, all, even though it's open, it's an open world, we wanted to make sure that if it's going to be open, you're going to want to go places. So if you look around, you're always going to see really beautiful vistas, interesting places to go, um, including uh, shorelines and mountains, all kinds of caves and so on and so forth. And I'll show you that in a second. Um, as far as collecting goes and leveling goes, uh, the game is about 35 hours if you're just doing sort of a regular playthrough. If you wanted to collect everything in the giant world, you could certainly go a lot longer. Um, if you're a completionist or you just want all the, uh, all of the, <clears throat> all of the achievements or trophies. Um, and as far as collecting goes and leveling goes, there's about 100, 100 plus weapons, axes and swords and giant battle axes and bows and, and crossbows. We've got a pretty robust magic system. Um, so you've got three main ma spells. Um, but as you go, they're going to level. Um, oh, there we go. Let's go ahead and kill these mole rats. Um, something that makes Gothic very, very special is that when you kill something, you actually get what you expect to. So when I kill these mole rats, I'm getting some fat and some meat. Um, and I'm not going to find a suit of armor or 50 gold on them. I'm going to be able to use my cooking, my cooking uh, ability later on, assuming I find a recipe so I can cook the, uh, I can cook the mole rat meat up and I'll be able to make some, some food that'll either heal me or buff me or something along those lines. 